Hello and thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's recipe. So today for you I'm doing a little bit of a different type of crock pot recipe. I'm actually going to be getting this all prepared the night before. So right now it is 4.11 in the afternoon and I'm actually going to be putting this on to cook tomorrow morning. So if you'd like to see how to prepare this and all that kind of stuff and see how it turns out tomorrow night for supper then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget food, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page if you would like to, but yeah. Okay, so I know I keep talking about this, but I started working from home, and I'm gonna be getting off pretty late, about 6.45 in the evening, and so I need like dinner to be done, you know what I mean? So um, last week I did the baked potatoes in the Instant Pot, so you're going to be seeing a lot of Instant Pot and um, Crock Pot recipes. So today, what I'm going to be getting prepped for tomorrow is I got some of these little golden potatoes, the Petite Golds. I've got some onion. I've also got these hot Italian turkey sausages that were on sale, obviously. And then I'm tr we're trying to cut down on our salt intake, so... I bought this today at Dollar Tree. We're going to be trying this out as well, so let's see if it's any good. But anyway, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get start, start getting stuff prepped. I'm going to wash my potatoes, and I'm also going to chop my onion. You know how to do all that, so I'll see you here in just a sec. Okay, so my onion is chopped and have my potatoes washed. So what I'm going to be doing first, I'm just going to be putting my potatoes in my cold empty crock pot obviously I do have a liner in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this salt free seasoning on top I'm not putting water in yet I can do that tomorrow morning and I'll film that part and everything so okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my onion And I'm just once again going to go ahead and put some of this salt-free seasoning on top. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and open up my sausages. These are pretty good if you've never had them. Okay, so yeah, these are pretty good. They have Italian ones, but these are the hot, and they are a lot better in my opinion. Okay, but these are raw. That's fine. I'm going to put these right on top of the onions and potatoes. This will help to flavor the potatoes and onions a little bit more as well. Okay, I got to wash my hands real quick. I will be right back. And really, all you're going to do is just put the lid on it and put it in the fridge. Okay, so here is my crock pot meal. Um, it's just gonna stay in the fridge overnight. There's Nick. Say hi, Nick. Say hi. Anyway, so yeah, I'll see you in the morning when I'm getting this put in and ready to go. Well, good morning, guys. So it is about 7.25 in the morning. Of course, here's Nick, because Nick's always around. But I'm going to be taking my crock pot out of the fridge, and let's get this going. Okay, so this is super important, okay? My crock pot is on off. This just came out of the fridge. So you want it to let it kind of get up to room temp. We're not going to turn it on for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So it's just going to sit in the base on off. Okay, you don't want it to crack, anything like that. So I'm going to be going ahead and adding about half a cup of water. And we're just going to let this sit for a little bit and then uh, we'll turn it on. Okay, so it is 8.36 in the morning. So my crock pot has been sitting for about an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to low and that's it. Okay, so it is 4.05 in the evening, 
And I think my crock pot meal is done. So let's go in and dish up. Okay. It looks really, really good. And it smells really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start dishing up. My sausages. Oh wow, those sausages are just falling apart. Like in a good way, sorry. I just wanted to back you up a little bit. So you can definitely serve whatever you want for the side dish. But I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, where'd all the onions go? I'm gonna get a few more onions for Sean. Okay. There we go. But anyway, yeah, super easy to prep the night before. I'm really glad I did that because I just got off work a little bit ago. So glad I don't have to cook. So there we go. But um, I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. You can use this with chicken, pork, beef, vegetable, whatever you wanna do. It's, it's really easy and pretty affordable. A lot more affordable than ordering out because you're too tired from work. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy today's recipe. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite crock pot meal you can prep the night before. I would love to know because I'm going to be doing this like every night of the week that I have to work the next day. So but anyway, um, yeah, don't forget, you can um, always follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. You can always click on one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.